This one for police doing a police pat down. I okay, but you realize, like, I, I agree. It does look a little suspicious, but I. Th but it's not that bad for YouTube. I'll be honest with you. As far as YouTube goes, that's not bad at all. Let's be honest, guys. We've seen way worse stuff in YouTube videos that didn't get striked. Just be real. But at the end of the day, this is a police officer doing his job. Like, again, just like Steve-O, I thought this... <laughs> okay. He's underselling it really hard. That dude is spanking that woman. Oh, what are we talking about? That dude... That dude literally is bent over examining her ass. Like, what are we talking about? This was a professional... <laughs> Any thoughts on this situation? What's this? All right, so as you guys know we've had a pretty rocky relationship with youtube these past few years but what you guys maybe didn't know was that just a couple months ago we had zero strikes on the channel at the same time youtube also rolled out a new system in which channels could earn their warning strikes back so in case you don't know it's like it goes warning strike first strike second strike third strike we have okay. zero strikes and we got our warning strike back so it it was genuinely like i was like we are you're good. We're safe. Like, yep. this is it. It's all unicorns and rainbows from here on out. But then about at the same time they rolled out this new warning system, I feel like they also started making some other changes as well. And, you know, we've seen some pretty egregious things that have happened to this channel. We've gotten a strike for a girl eating a banana on a beach. And it wasn't even like a... Well... You know why you got it, though, right? Like, sexual are we of eating a banana? She wasn't like, you know, like deep throating it or anything. I, I, I mean, is it like the first time you did it? What's this guy? This is guy. This is MXR plays. Oh, let's see. Are you kidding me? Are we joking? What are we doing? What in the are we doing? Bro, no. Yeah, you got. Oh my god, I can't even show some of this stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna get canceled. Jesus Christ. Bro, I'm worried I'm gonna get in trouble. That's how bad your goddamn thumbnails are. Know, we how are you even upset about this? We got striked for banana on a beach. Bro, you're lucky that was the only thing they striked you for, dude. Like, There's straight porn in your thumbnail. You know, like deep throating it or anything. I, I feel like I might even get like a strike for just, yeah. <laughs> for just having done that motion, okay? In our commentary, like we were, we genuinely just thought it was really funny in the way she ate the banana. If you go to the Reddit thread, I think a lot of people thought the same way. I'll be honest with you, he's actually right. I think he's actually right. I don't think that the banana actually was the... St I, I that's bullshit. Especially when there's about a thousand other reasons you could strike his channel, right? But apparently, the guy that gave us a strike got turned on by that. We were genuinely just commentating about the logistics of why somebody would eat a banana like that, and we got a strike for that at some point. See, it, it wasn't too long after this warning system got... Uh, implemented that we started or I started seeing some even crazier stuff so the first thing that happened was we got a strike again for maybe one of the cutest most wholesome videos I've ever seen I don't think anybody would have saw this video and thought that it could have the ability to deliver a strike onto any channel so it's basically these Dang, two what's parents the video? are talking to their two children they're both like am I about to get canceled bro am I five six years old and they asked him, what do you do when you get married? I'm getting married because they won't get married. And what do you do when you get married? Um, and then the kids start doing this. Which I can understand. <laughs> Tell me it was some innocent kid thing. There's no way that they meant what they thought. There's no way. It looks really, really bad. The parents yeah. were extremely shocked. We were shocked. Everybody was shocked. And then it's Explain revealed it. that they're literally just trying to pretend to put a ring on. Because mm. that 
Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. We're good. Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, that's obviously just funny. Yeah, that's just a kid being a kid. You know what I mean? Kids don't know any better. They have no idea, right? Of course, adults are going to be like, what are you talking about? That's what you do in marriage. What are you doing? <laughs> Pretending to put a ring on. Why are you saying, show me your tamer? What the f***? Uh, oh. And it was like the cutest, the most heartwarming thing. It was just such a good video. And then we got a strike for a sexualizing children. When the girl literally said, Okay, yeah, that's stupid. Bro, you got a lot of different reasons you could strike his channel, man. What are we doing? Said that they were trying yeah, to dumb. put a ring. That's dumb. Yeah. Finger on her ring. They're six years old. I don't think she was genuinely trying to be sexual. I don't know if she even knows what sex is at that age. So I don't understand how something could be that blatantly clear and we still get a strike for it. So here's the thing. Some of you guys know that we have a secret insider YouTube contact. And full context, this is not an official YouTube manager. They would never give me one. Mm. They've refused every single time. So thank I can't imagine why. Thank God for this guy because he saw that and he was able to reverse it for us. As of today, we are no longer in contact. He doesn't respond to my emails anymore. So I'm just wondering, you know, like, Shocked. what do I do the next- Any surprise Pikachu pa faces in chat, bro? Next time this happens, who do I turn to? And I think about how there are so many small channels out there that don't have any contacts at YouTube, have nobody to talk to, yet hit with strikes as crazy as this one, and they just have to suck it up and be like, yeah, okay. Cool, this platform. Now you're probably wondering, well then why don't you just appeal? I'm sure YouTube will take a second look and they will fix their decision. That is actually kind of priceless because YouTube doesn't respond to any of my appeals. I kid you not. Oh, they don't give a f not. We have submitted they don't appeals care, bro. from months ago. They actually not do not care, to. bro. When I submitted them, I checked the There is email no shot they are gonna give a f about you. Sleep over checking yeah. it. I would wake up in the middle of the night and just be like, did they respond yet? and nothing february 29th still haven't gotten an email from them back yet yeah that youtube guy was like the only thing that was keeping youtube slightly fair for me you know what i mean okay so yeah we got that strike overturned well, clearly they didn't think his content was too sexual before so i'm curious what changed because those two things seemed like stupid and we were back at zero strikes we had no strikes we still had a warning a first strike a second strike third strike to go i was like that's fine whatever we're still good here's where it gets even crazier so we end up getting another strike not too long after for a video that was deleted over a month ago from the date that we got the strike it's such a hard you can get strikes on deleted videos hard sentence to process okay because first of all we got a strike on a deleted video like the video doesn't even exist anymore and second of all this what? video was uploaded over a month ago from that strike these strikes on deleted videos cannot be appealed because i guess their reasoning is well the, the content is gone so what are we supposed to do about it well then how the f did you know that there was offending content on it if the content is gone and you can i want to believe him i do uh the problem is that i do not feel that youtube would probably strike it unless there was something sussy going on it had to have been bad or YouTube had to have been threatened to be sued or something. Like, so there's something else going on with that situation. I don't Cannot know. Access it. We have somebody apparently going one month and a half back into our old videos that were deleted. Which I'm like, how do they even find it? And issuing a strike. Yeah, you're crazy if you think that kids can't find stuff, man. Uh, there's a clip of me accidentally doxing myself from like nine months ago. Um... Like, my computer shut down, and then it rebooted itself, and when it logged in, it just, like, showed my name for a second. And I shut the stream down immediately. It was right at the start, so only, like, 50 people were watching. Or whatever. But, like, I shut the stream down immediately, booted it back up, deleted the VOD immediately. It was gone in about 13 seconds. Um, it was on the screen for maybe half a second, or whatever. Um, and... Somebody went back through my VODs after, like... Uh, like a year later or like like six or seven months later 
went through my old VODs to find the one clip of me accidentally doxing myself and then spread it around the BDO community with a streamable link so that everybody would have my personal information. If you think that people can't find your deleted videos, you're crazy. On that. Let's just think about this for a second here, okay? What if we got a strike for this video on a deleted video that occurred a month ago and we could not appeal it when it was blatantly wrong? Mm -hmm. I don't understand how they can take away the option to appeal it when you give so many wrong strikes in the first place. Mm -hmm. And it is no patch note rundown will be right after this video. I had to wait for it to get still not out yet. Perfectly normal for a YouTuber to delete their content because of your monetization policies. Yep. We have to make multiple versions of videos, censoring parts, removing parts in order to even get monetized. So most videos that go live on the channel have like three or four different versions that end up getting deleted after it goes live. So we have more. I don't have to do that. No, do we have to do that? I we're not uploading three and four of the same video to see if any of them won't get monetized, you know, demonetized. Like, what the? He said that they, they literally upload three and four types of the exact same video to try to get one that doesn't get flagged for demonetization. We, like, every once in a while, one of our videos will be demonetized because of some DMCA music, and Node will have to be like, all right, I gotta de delete this, and then we, and then I gotta upload again. But like three or four times, I've never had, I never had to do that. Or videos I get deleted. Not the exact same, different edits of the same video. Yeah, so it's not the exact same video every time with the edit. He's literally uploading four different videos, four different versions of the same video. Man, he must be doing something other than music. I will say that YouTube's DMCA music is so annoying. Like, dude... Uh, we, we've had entire videos demonetized because there's a four second clip of like the Benny Hill music or something in the middle that you can vaguely hear. Boom, Benny Hill gets all the money. Like, what are we talking about? Like we had to completely re-upload the video. It's obnoxious. It didn't actually go live. And none of those we can appeal. because His channel is very lewd. Okay, well, there's the reason. Not there. But you also somehow have. But we saw that earlier when we investigated. And can watch it and give us a strike. But we can't appeal. And you also give strikes for things like this. Yeah. And we can't appeal that. Like, do you, are you guys like understanding like the ludicrousy? So I went. YouTube strike system is ab absolutely ab like abhorrently terrible. It's notoriously bad. The solution is to just not get striked. That's literally like it's. I know it's like Korean advice. Just don't get. Just don't die. Like. You know what I mean? And I found this video that got this strike that we deleted a month and a half ago. And guess what? It was for sexualizing children. Again, me and my team, we go through that video multiple Damn. times. We cannot find a single in instance of a child being sexualized, which again is like if it were there, it would be pretty obvious to see a ch child get sexualized. But we oh, just God. Find that in fact, there were like no children in that video at all. So it actually turns out that I believe it came from this, which as you can see, is a fully grown woman. She is not a child. <laughs> Imagine looking so young that YouTube is flagging videos that people put up of you because you look like a child. And I'm assuming <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That we got a strike for this or for sexualizing children <laughs> because she is wearing an outfit that almost looks like a schoolgirl outfit. And she is in a setting that could potentially look somewhat like a classroom. So a human, you're telling me, goes back one month and a half ago, finds a deleted video out of like hundreds of deleted videos that we have, watches this video, sees this and believes that this is a schoolgirl doing a sexual maneuver and delivers a strike on it. So in both cases of sexualizing children, mm -hmm. we have not sexualized children. And in both cases... The girl is 26, by the way. I'll take your word for it on this. I'm not going to do the investigating. We have no ability to appeal. Mm -hmm. Why is that a thing? Why is this a system? How is that fair? Because they've decided. It sucks. But they've decided now. I, he's getting struck by YouTube. And if YouTube has determined that your video is against their TOS policy, it's over. There is no... You can contest it all you want. YouTube's just... 
Scream all you want. I love democracy. They are literally Emperor Palpatine. Okay. They do not care. So, like, you know, okay, that's kind of uh, bullshit, but, you know, I'm sure people are sick and tired of me complaining about strikes and injustices that YouTube has delivered. I'm going to move on with this. Yeah. I'm going to swallow it. So, not too long later, we upload another video. What's up, We games? have to make multiple copies in order to <clears throat> find out which ones won't get age restricted. And uh, within a span yeah. of one minute... Yeah, no, you're lucky, man. All you got to deal with me saying the F word too many times, man. Copy number one gets age restricted. Copy number two gets age restricted. Copy number one gets a strike. And then copy number two gets a strike all like seconds apart from each other, like almost instantaneously. How did a human watch both videos at the same time? They didn't. It's a bot, age man. Restrict and strike within seconds of each other when these videos are guaranteed. Once your channel has been flagged for something as serious as like child sexualization. They 100% are literally watching your channel for anything that could be remotely child sexualization, and it's over. Like, if they see anything, they're immediately going to strike it, okay? There was a period of time on our channel where every single video was demonetized, basically, that we put up that we had to be crazy careful about. We had to challenge every video before we put it out. It was a nightmare for a channel like ours. Like, it was nuts. They're like half an hour long. Here's a really part right so this took away our warning Rip strike shot, and our first strike at the same time for the same exact violation which we had no clue that it was even a violation like if it's the same violation wouldn't it make sense to just give the person one strike and just be like okay no. you can learn from that i disagree uh, I, I would agree with most of this like okay this is kind of bullshit you know I, I i would agree with them that most of these strikes are bullshit but, like, you can't just, like, give somebody one strike for stuff that happened, like, three or four things that should have been striked, period. Like, no. You f***ed up four times, they're going to give you four strikes, right? That's not like this. Don't do it again, but why would you give the person two punishments for the same thing? And so what the strike was for was a stunt performed by Steve-O. And Steve-O is performing one of his signature stunts. No, but that's the same video on the same thing. So we got two strikes in the same video. Again, it's YouTube's way or the highway. If there are two parts of your video that violate their TOS in, in the same way or even in different ways, that could strike you twice for the same video. It's their TOS. Like, it's where it, he it sucks. It's not right, but it, like, it's, it is what it is. Sets like, the top of his hair on fire and has someone blow flames through it. And if you just search this trick up on YouTube, you're going to get a ton of results because Steve-O is a professional stuntman who's had a long career on Jackass, which by the way, the show is on YouTube, right? Like if you search it, you will find so many results. The best of Steve-O fire stunts with an image of the same exact thing that was in our video. Steve-O sets his hair on fire to introduce ICP. Steve-O lights his hair on fire. Steve-O live hair on fire stunt and Something tells me these videos don't have the same circulation years do, Big Chief. Introduce ICP. Steve-O lights his hair on fire. Doesn't make it any more right, but YouTube's not going to flag stuff that has like 400 views. Steve-O... 168 views live hair on fire stunt and then steve-o on fire like there is a video of the slow-mo guys with 6.1 million views of him setting okay, himself there on go. fire that's right. just what he does okay the video literally says you're on fire you're on fire <laughs> why why is this on youtube and mine is a strike two strikes actually not just one strike mine is two strikes this yeah it's bullshit the yep. six million views i probably don't need to say this but he was perfectly fine he was completely relaxed he did not get hurt it was an easy run-of-the-mill trick for him i we literally have a text that says do not attempt at the bottom but the strike is like we're promoting dangerous stunts but it says do not attempt and the entire time we never once yeah that's that's kind of bogus mentioned yeah do that shit ah. so yeah, no youtube guy to save us or anything nobody responds to her appeal Two strikes on the board. Cool. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I had to. I've had to put in operational privacy complaints about people before who post my personal information, and it takes YouTube like like forty eight hours to even 
do anything about it. So your personal information is just in that video for 48 hours. And then they still, they have to investigate at that point. And then it takes another like 48 hours to a week to get it down. It it's a, it's really annoying. YouTube's like entire process for basically any of this stuff, whether it be strikes or operational privacy is really annoying. Yes, I'll just kind of suck it up and just move on. And then it's not long before we get another strike, which brings us to officially the second strike, which is why we've been gone for 14 days. This one for police doing a police pat down. I okay, but you realize, like, I, I agree. It does look a little suspicious, but I, th but it's not that bad for YouTube. I'll be honest with you. As far as YouTube goes, that's not bad at all. Let's be honest, guys. We've seen way worse stuff in YouTube videos that didn't get striked. Just be real. But at the end of the day, this is a police officer doing his job. Like, again, just like Steve-O, I thought this... <laughs> okay. He's underselling it really hard. That dude is spanking that woman. Oh, what are we talking about? That dude... That dude literally is bent over examining her ass. Like, what are we talking about? This a professional <laughs> context. Like, it's a police pat down. Like, I just didn't know that you could get a strike for filming a police pat down. So I'll- Don't- All right, that's- That's disingenuous. You know exactly what was going on there. It was not just a police pat down. That's why you have it in the video. We know it. I know it. You know it. We all know it. All this leads me to believe that I don't know if there are actually humans giving us these strikes. Like, if Probably you look not. back on it, the fact that we get strikes for deleted content from a month ago, two strikes on two videos within seconds of each other. So how am I supposed to believe that there's actually a human out there? And so I put this stuff to the test. I took the same thumbnails that got me a strike and I uploaded it on another channel and I requested a human review. And YouTube tells us that they are sending a human to watch this video. But I don't believe it because I. Wait, what? Hold on. I took the same thumbnails that got me a strike and I uploaded it on another channel and okay. I requested a. Did it get. Well, did it get flagged again? Even a review. And YouTube. So he, it got flagged again. Tells us that they are sending a human to watch this video. But I don't believe it because I did this. I put this strike worthy thumbnail on this channel and no strike, nothing happened. I got human reviews on it. I didn't like. A human can review during that review. Oh, I'm aware. I know how the process works. Note and I had to do it for weeks. Um, like the, the YouTube flags it for um, like, uh, like TOS basically. And they say you can't monetize your video. And so you have to challenge it and a human has to come review it. That's what that screen that you just saw is this little, uh, this right here. Yeah, this right here. I've seen it many times and a human reviews it. They usually review it around 8 a.m. or so. Uh, and then they, they approve it or whatever. Like, that's just how it works. I know how this process works. Like, okay, that's fine. So either this is not a strike worthy thumbnail or YouTube is lying to us and there's actually nobody watching our videos. And if you look at the view counter on these videos, a long time ago, they used to go from zero to one or zero to four, depending on how many reviewers looked at it. Now they all just stay zero. We've tested this multiple times at this very point in time. Patch notes are up. Okay, well, we're almost done with this. So. I don't believe there are any humans watching anything at this point. And even the strikes are being doled out by bots as well. And it truly feels like we're living in... This whole business is coomer baiting. It's just 100% bullshit. I, I think he is being disingenuous. But at the same time, he just pointed out some good points about the YouTube strike policy and the demonetization stuff. Most of these strikes are bogus. But I will be honest with you, it's risky to make a video like this because YouTube could just turn around and say, okay, well, every single one of these other thumbnails is also against the rules. So, well, your channel's gone. Some sort YouTube of three, Bozo zero. <laughs> I wouldn't say that the necessarily. Future, where my entire career and livelihood is just dependent on whether or not a bot can tell if this girl is underage or an adult. And I In fairness, she does look like she's a kid. I know YouTube's not going to be happy to hear this and they're not going to be happy to see all the proof that are provided here and they're probably going to bury this video. You'll probably never see it. Or we might even just get banned. Ginny told me not. 99% of his content is fine. 100% is for clickbait. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. It's not about the 99%. It's about that 1%, right? Like if, if your 1% is just porn, that's not going to, that's not going to do super well, right? So like you, you can't have that even if it is 1%. 
Like, and in, I'm not saying that it is in his case, but his thumbnails definitely look really sussy. So like, not to make this video. Kai told me not to make this video, but hey, at this point, yeah, I would have advised him not to make a video like this because if YouTube like decides, okay, well, fuck you, we're just gonna demonetize we have so everything. Many supporters on Patreon right now, and I've just dealt with this for so long. I don't really see us lasting much longer on this platform if a bot is determining whether or not I stay alive, and there's no human out there contemplating homelessness to verify or even respond to our deletion. So I implore you, join us on Patreon. We have 160 extra videos there at this point, 45 plus hours of content, one of the biggest communities on Patreon. Also, we're not even monetized on this channel anymore. Patreon is basically our only source of income at this point. Yeah, I wanna thank everybody that supports us on Patreon. From so you're just demonetized anyway, what the hell? Out of my heart, you guys empower me to speak up about these things, knowing that I can fall back on you guys your support that I still have a community to go back to on a different platform if things go south from here. Like, I, I just keep being quiet for the sake of my livelihood and my job here on YouTube. And you guys give me that freedom. So thank you. Thank you a lot. And to YouTube, I still owe YouTube everything. I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I've spent half my life on YouTube. Look. Asman saw it, went straight to the thumbnails was, uh, too and was like, well, gentlemen, we know what probably happened here. There it is. That's because Asman actually investigates. I, I understand why they have to use bots and AI to police their website. There's Asmin probably already knew, and that's why he went and investigated. I genuinely would, I don't know these people. There's way too much content to be uploaded here for any number of humans to possibly review. But I don't know why you have to sit here and lie to us and say that there's actually a human seeing this, and why you have to lie to us and say that when we press the appeal button, a human will actually listen to us. Like, I understand if you're gonna use bots to police your website, but for things as important as giving out strikes and deleting people's channels, which mm. is what's about to happen to us, I don't understand how you can charge that to a bot and then not even have the decency to have a human just double check and look at it and like even say something to the creator. I'm sat here with what I feel like you guys can even agree. I know that we have a lot of people that don't like us, but just look at a lot of these strikes. Can you at least agree that some of them walk a gray line and that there could be a possibility that some of them The line. His videos. Are we really surprised here? Like, like, yeah, it could be a gray area, but it's up to YouTube to determine what is, is it is not against TOS. And if they determine it's against TOS, that's just, it's just over as they say, it's just over, man. Like that's all there is to it. I, it's not fun. I would agree with him. His strike, those strikes are bullshit, but they could have struck your channel for any number of reasons. Some are wrong and that we don't deserve our channel to be removed for, for these things. I mean, and there is proof that they were wrong. Like literally. Yeah. Like they took it back. So it's like, well, the strike that got overturned uh -huh. is one of many that have been overturned by that YouTube guy. I'm not joking. They've time and time again have delivered us incorrect strikes. He's overturned it. He's not here anymore. What happens when we get another one? Oh, I press the appeal button. Nobody responds and my channel dies. Is that is that it? Is that the solution, YouTube? And then when the guy overturned it, we never went to him and be like, could you just overturn it, please? We said what is it that we did wrong and he's the one who said oh actually it was our bad yeah that's all i had to say i hope our experience well, yeah it's clearly a bot that's striking him uh hey he's not wrong here's the video i'll let you guys make it up for your uh, make up your mind for yourselves but before we, we're gonna do the patch notes but like i'm gonna be honest like guys like like wait so you made this video And you knew that these other thumbnails existed. What are we looking at here, man? Like, look at some of these stuff. Oh, dude. Are we surprised? Like, what are we doing? Oh my God, the claymation, dude. What the? Bro, I can't even look at this shit. I'm gonna get in trouble. Bro, I'm gonna get in fucking trouble, bro.
Not, uh, do not tell me that 1% of his content is is over-sexualized. What are we talking about? He's got corn just in every thumbnail. It's just there, man. Like, people could just scroll through it and finish. Like, look, do you, I think the I think he has some good points. Like those strikes were kind of bullshit, but like they could have struck him for a hundred different reasons. Like, yeah, like I don't know, man. It's just kind of sussy.